What's up guys? I'm very excited to share this knife with you today. This is uh, a part of the very popular Griptilian and um, Dash 1 series knives from Benchmade. I believe Benchmade kicked off their Dash 1 variants with the uh, 940-1 a couple years ago, which was a carbon fiber handled and S90V blade steel version of their very popular 940 knife. And then around uh, the fall of 2015, they uh, introduced these knives, which were, um, you know, the Dash 1 variants for the, uh, the Griptilians, which is pretty cool. So a lot of people like the Griptilian knives. They're very popular and kind of have a different feel overall than something like a 940. But um, these series of knives wear these very attractive um, gray and blue uh, G10 handle scales with these uh, anodized blue standoffs which are very attractive uh, flow through design there which you guys can see um, and also these knives have an upgraded blade steel with your CPM 20 CV which is a very very cool steel another steel that's becoming one of my favorite steels I think uh, you guys can see there this stuff takes an incredible polish so it has a very high chromium chromium content. <clears throat> Excuse me. I believe it's upward around uh, 20%, which uh, gives you a very nice high polish there. But uh, the steel also has a lot of very good qualities in terms of corrosion resistance and edge retention. Um, you know, 20 CV is pretty much analogous to um, M390. And, uh, what is it, CTS204P, which is a carpenter steel. But, um, all those steels, guys, are really been hitting my radar lately in terms of, um, you know, for an EDC steel, really has a lot of great qualities, you know. It uh, checks a lot of the boxes there for, um, you know, the different uh, characteristics that I personally look for in a, uh, a good EDC steel. But anyways, um more about the knife here guys you know I, I had always really enjoyed the griptilian knives and the one thing that really um, you know kind of held me back on them um, was their their plasticky g10 or not g10 their plasticky handle scales that were you know came standard on those knives and uh, you know it's something I'm sure you guys have heard before it was a complaint from a lot of people that the um, the plastic standard handles on the Kryptonian knives just, you know, felt kind of cheap. The knife sounded cheap when you closed it. It kind of made a kind of plasticky, hollow sound, and um, you know, it really kind of held the knife back because, I mean, you know, look at this blade shape here. It's a very beautiful drop point blade here, guys. It has this swedge here uh, towards the tip, and um, it's just a beautiful blade, and it really kind of. Um, didn't do the, the knife much service, you know, coupling it with that plastic handle, but, you know, I understand the Griptilian line is designed to be kind of an entry-level series of knives uh, for Benchmade, so they're trying to keep the price, the price low, um, you know, on these knives, so. It's always a uh, Mel Pardew design here. I'm going to show you the, there you go, CPM 20 CV. Very nice. Really like the the gray and blue G10. So it's actually a um, one single piece of G10, uh, but it's layered. So the inner layer here is blue and the top is gray. And um, you know they glued those together, integrated those very well, and um, made a very very nice knife. The uh, action on this knife is very very good. This particular one drops free, as you guys can see there. It's a tad loose, but my uh, particular customer likes his knives a little bit on the loose side. So uh, that's what I do for him. No, no up and down there. Maybe just a hair side to side, but again, you could adjust that out if you wanted to. But um, you know, my customer likes the these knives to swing free for him, so I keep them a little little looser for him than I, I would for myself. But um, 
Very nice knife, guys. Really like the changes that Benchmade has made. This is really, I think I said this before, maybe what the Griptilian should have been the first time around. And um, very high high value knife, you know, 20, Z, 20 CV steel, G10 handle scales, um, you know, bicolored uh, G10 anodized standoffs. I mean, those are some really nice kind of higher end features that, you know, you really don't see in a lot of production knives. And I think Benchmade has finally kind of realized that, you know, a lot of their customers are looking for, you know, just a little bit of, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, maybe some kind of higher end features or things that, you know, people, um, they can kind of, uh, get some things on their knives that are, more personal for them if they like a particular color. I think kind of, um, I guess the word is uh, individualize their knives a little bit more. You know, there's a lot of knives out there that have just, you know, black G10 satin blades and um, they're kind of plain Jane. There's not a whole, whole lot interesting going on with them besides, you know, just their function as a knife. So um, it's cool, you know, to see that Benchmade is kind of going in this direction and um, you know, to be honest, I know you, you guys know that I'm a I'm a big Spyderco guy, but um, this this is a knife that I actually got a uh, um, a knife for myself. So I like this knife enough that I decided to get one for myself. And uh, this is the first Benchmade in a while that has actually knocked uh, knocked a Spyderco out of my pocket. So. Um, I know, crazy, right? But um, for now, I am I'm carrying a Benchmade in my pocket these days, specifically the the 551-1 because I liked it so much. I um, actually had a uh, S110V Paramilitary 2 with the uh, the blurp the blurple scales, <laughs> and. Um, Gosh, I, I, I tried to like that knife. I wanted to like that knife so much. And uh, great uh, great steel, good design. But, you know, I just I just couldn't deal with those purpley handle scales. <laughs> so I was looking around for some competitive options and I found a good price on one of these and really love these blue, um, you know, blue highlights here and the standoffs and the 20 CV steel. You know, it was very good. I would put it, you know, pretty much in the same category as something like S110V. Maybe it doesn't have quite the edge retention, but, you know, for EDC stuff, it doesn't matter too much for me. Um, so, yeah, really, really like what Benchmade is doing with some of their knives. You know, I think they're, that their marketing and design ideas, they're really bringing some people back to their company that maybe had gone elsewhere for quite a few years. So, you know, uh, I'm not a particular fanboy, you know, I have the companies that I like, but, um, you know, if a company makes a good knife, and it's a good price and good value, uh, I'm going to like it, you know, I don't really care who, who makes the knife, and, you know, if uh, a company like Spyderco or something, they're screwing something up, um, I'll tell you guys, you know, I'll say, hey, you know, this is, this is jacked up, they need to fix this, <laughs> you know, I just did a video recently talking about a, um, uh, S110V Manix 2 with the uh, their Buller Pearl scales and uh, you know that knife honestly had a lock problem. The, it had had lock stick you know from the factory out of the box, and I've seen it on many knives that uh, the locks they, they they stick and they don't they don't feel right you know. And this particular axis lock it's very smooth, buttery smooth, but um, you know it's not not to say I haven't seen issues with axis locks because uh, I have. But, um, really great knife, guys. Really, really like this knife. Uh, let me show you the edge here a little bit closer. You can see that really nice 20 CV. Takes a great polish. Beautiful, beautiful um, steel to work with. see that there it's uh, hard to 
Hard to stop looking at this knife, guys. There you go. Great stuff. Good action. Really nice knife. I know I've said that about a hundred times, but uh, <laughs> I'm excited about this one. I think you guys can probably tell when I get a knife in that I'm excited about. I tend to kind of ramble and just keep talking because uh, I just, uh, you know, like the knife, love the knife. And, um, you know, not, not every knife I get in, I can say that about. You know, there's some knives that I like and there's some knives that I really want to like and I get them and I don't. But uh, I think... Uh, my my example of this knife, the one for me, is going to hang around for a long time, so I don't think I'll be trading or selling that one anytime soon. <laughs> but um, anyways, guys, I'm gonna wrap this up. Highly recommend these um, Dash One Griptilians from Benchmade. Really high value, great materials. You know, excellent cutting, excellent performing knife. Um, you know, you can pick these up sometimes on secondary markets for a real good price. Uh, the particular one that I got, I think I got for maybe around 140 bucks. You know, so you know, all 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 this for about 140 bucks. Um, it's a great deal, great deal. You know, so definitely check one out, guys. I I know you will not be disappointed. So, anyways. Um, I'm going to wrap this up here, guys. Uh, as always, thank you for watching. If you like the videos, please subscribe. And um, I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks.